everybody just wanted to show you guys how i tied this hot headed ray charles uh, i think this is a pretty cool fly especially for tailwater rivers um, pretty popular pattern overall um, i've just started my thread here i have a um, just a hot orange bead to match my size 16 nymph hook i'm going to start by uh, attaching this extra small silver wire i'm also using a dot uni thread here in gray I'll wrap that wire just to the side of the hook shank, just back before the bend. And then we're going to tie in a piece of pearl flash, which is in a size 14. This is from Danville. And I'll attach that right to the back of the hook. And then we're going to go ahead and add our ostrich hurl. Um, you can do this in a lot of different colors. Um, olive, pink, and gray are pretty popular ones. This is just going to be in a gray. Um, light gray from hairline and I like to tie in two strands of this so it makes a full body of it if you do one strand it looks pretty sparse um, so I try to make a little fatter bug here so I'll tie those in by the butt ends of those and then I'll wrap up to behind my bead and it's just as simple uh, wrapping these together um, just as you would any other um, a pheasant tail or peacock you just have to be careful with it it, it can break on you it's kind of brittle stuff so I just try to keep my wraps close together, one right in front of the other, and that'll make a nice full body as we go uh, up towards the bead. And I'm gonna wrap right up against the bead here, and I'll do a full wrap um, right up against it. And then I'll just hold that ostrich hurl up and drop my bobbin up and over with my left hand to secure that. And then um, I'll go ahead and then you can trim these guys out and um, tie those down with a few more tight wraps there. And then next we're just gonna simply just fold our flash up and over the top. I like to kind of create a little part there, try to move some of those fibers around, drop your thread up and over again. And then I do like to fold this uh, flash back and then wrap back over it three or four times there to make that secure. You could make a little UV back on this fly if you wanted to, I don't do that here in this video. Um, and then we'll go ahead and start bringing our wire up and through the body. Now, as you're coming around the side near you, you just have to watch those fibers because um, on the far side, it doesn't matter that it's pushing those fibers down, but as you bring the wire up, it's going to pull those fibers up and try to capture them on top of your flash. So you see, I try to just push those fibers back down as I go. I don't want those getting pulled up and over the top of the fly. So just be cautious of that as you go with that wire and then get right up behind the bead and tie that down. And then you can go ahead and, and trim that off um, close to the bead and then give it a couple more good secure tight wraps. And then that's pretty much it. This guy's ready to fish. Um, go ahead and give it a shot. I'd like to see how you guys do with this. Um, give us a shout out in the comments or um, tag us on Instagram or Facebook in the group there. So let us know how you do with it. Um, it's a really good springtime pattern as well. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Mm -hmm.